whenever somebody moves from india to a foreign country let's say to us uk australia south africa dubai whenever people move out of india to these countries to do their job they make a lot of long term mistakes they don't realize that these are mistakes because the results or the consequences of these mistakes are not visible in the short term you only realize that what has gone wrong when you are supposed to come back to india which may be few years down the line so everything seems okay when you are making the transition but in the long run you realize that you have run into a situation which is very difficult to repair so let me explain one by one point number 1 when you are moving to a foreign country let's say you are moving from india to us to do the same work which you are doing for the same client while sitting in india the first mistake is people start to develop a superiority complex which means as soon as they are transferred to a foreign location they start to feel as if they are superior or as if they are better than the people who are back there in india as a result of the superiority complex they start to spoil the relationships relationships with their colleagues in india relationships with their bosses in india and why this happens is because they get a lot of praise and appreciations from the clients in the us and they think that okay the client is on my side so i have all the rights to feel a little bit superior and i agree that when you are working in the us or at on site you have a lot of responsibility to manage the customer in fact you are in the line of fire and that's why you feel that you are doing a lot more than what your indian counterpart is doing and hence that superior authority complex comes to you naturally i am not saying everybody gets that but a lot of people get that complex even i got it for few months so you have to be very careful that your relationship with the team in india is not spoiled whether it is your coworkers or whether it is your bosses sitting in india your relationship should be as good as what it was when you were working out of indian offices and why this is important is because in the long term if you are going to come back for any reason you will need these people you will need these relationships and once you spoil the relationships once you start to show an attitude it is very difficult to bridge that gap few years down the line so that's point number 1 or mistake number 1 now let's move on to mistake number 2 when people spend 1 year 2 year 3 years 4 years or maybe 6 years working in the same account maybe in the same group or group of projects they become master at one or two tools they become very proficient in client specific tools or applications which are heavily used by that particular client but in the long run what people forget is that these tools or these skills are specific for this client and they may not be used that much in the market in fact in some cases the market is not even aware of these tools so while you are developing expertise in those particular apps or tools you need to be also aware that there is a larger market outside and at some point in time if you were to go and search for a job in the market you need to know generic skills as well in fact not generic but you need to know skills which are going to be in demand in the market so you have to be market ready and lot of time people just continue to be proficient in client specific tools for days months and years and when they run into a scenario where they have to look for a job outside they feel that they don't have the right skills they don't know the right tools which are acceptable for the market in fact they don't have any experience in anything other than what they are doing for this specific client so please ensure that while you are working at on site you are also learning certain things which are in demand in market even if they are not used in your project you should continue to learn and get certified that will help your cause in the long run and point number 3 is you need to develop clarity of how many years you are going to work in a foreign country for example you may be working in dubai you may be working in us uk australia wherever are you going to continue to work in this country for a very long term or forever or is there a possibility that you are going to go back to india even if it is after 6 years you need to have that kind of clarity because the kind of jobs that you will get in a foreign country 
will be very different from the kind of jobs that you get in India. Let me give you some examples. In the US, UK, they will appreciate your experience. They will need people who are hands-on. So even if you have 15, 20, 25 years of experience and you are a hands-on person, you are very much welcome in the US and UK and you will have a lot of opportunities to apply for. Versus in India, if you get 25 years of experience and you are still hands-on, you will be competing with people with half of your experience. And hence, if you come to India, you will get a reality shock that you are probably competing with people who are half your age or experience and the kind of salaries that you will be offered will be not as per your expectations. So while you will get $200,000 in a hands-on role in the US, in India, you will not get 50 lakhs or 60 lakhs. You will probably get 30 lakhs or 25 lakhs, depending, of course, on the skill set. I'm just giving a generic example. So a lot of people who are coming back after six years or seven years of staying in a foreign country, when they come back to India, they run into these issues. Because for the entire seven years, they have done some hands-on work in some specific tool. They don't have any experience of team leading. They don't have any experience of project management. So the vertical growth path is also gone, right? But when you come back over here, you are in a pool where you are competing with people who are half of your experience and hence the kind of salaries that are offered are less. And you run into a situation where you don't know what to do next. Please plan for long term. If you are going to stay in the foreign country for long term, that accordingly learn skills, accordingly gain experience. If you are going to come back to India, start to research about the Indian market at least six months ahead of time. Understand what kind of skill, experience, certification, etc. are being valued in India. Don't directly show up over here. Start to research, start to analyze, start to learn things which are going to be futuristic. And then before you come over here, start to apply for a few jobs and start to give few interviews, which will give you an idea of what to expect when you land here. All right, I hope you found this useful. If you've been in a similar situation, let me know in the comments. If you found this useful, share it in your network. I'll see you in another video soon. Take care and bye for now.